The HP Outdoors Waterfowl Podcast is fueled by Yukonuba. If you want to get the most of your dog in your training sessions, you need nutrition that holds nothing back. Yukonuba's new premium performance lineup is built with the nutrients dogs need to help unleash their max potential. That starts with providing energy that matches their efforts, supporting optimal nutrient delivery, and supporting post-exercise recovery. Check out the new Yukonuba Premium Performance lineup and find your dog's fuel at yukonubasportingdogs.com. You are listening to the HP Outdoors Waterfowl Podcast. The HP Outdoors Waterfowl Podcast is powered by Gornerstone Gundog Academy. CGA is the world's most comprehensive online gun dog training resource. They've got over 160 instructional videos that includes everything you need to take your seven-week-old puppy to a finished gun dog. Visit cornerstonegundogacademy.com to sign up for the free preview module and begin your training journey today. Cornerstone Gun Dog Academy, the most advanced gun dog training resource on the web. Gunner kennels are engineered for your dog, designed for travel, and built for your peace of mind. The G1 kennel has set a new industry standard and put Gunner in a category all its own. They were started to protect your pet, and it continues to be at the center of everything that they do. Gunner is dedicated to building the best and safest pet travel crate on the market because man's best friend deserves man's best kennel. Check out their G1 series of kennels and accessories at Gunner.com. Original design, select grade components, superior sound, and unparalleled service. 737 take exceptional pride in producing the finest quality, best built premium calls on the market today. They're made right here in America, and they're offered only direct to consumers through their website. Shipping in the U.S. is always free, and international orders are also accepted online. A 20-day money-back guarantee and lifetime warranty accompanies every call purchased. 737 Duck Calls. Lead the flock. All right, here we are. Lesson five, shooting lanes of module number two here on the HP Outdoors Foundations of Waterfowl Hunting course. Shooting lanes is something that it's important for multiple reasons. But for those who might not know what that means, what shooting lanes is speaking to, I'll give you a general idea of what, of what we mean here. So each member of the hunting party in the blinds, so whether you're in a pit blind or layout blinds or a boat blind, whatever your, your, your blind is in, and however many are in your hunting party, whether that's three or two or eight, right? However large your party is and whatever blind setup you have, each member of the party will have a sector in front of them that they're responsible for shooting. So um, basically, you know, it's, it's a reasonable uh, width in front of you that accounts for people on your left and your right. So obviously the person beside you is going to have a sector that they're going to be responsible for you and so on and so forth. One thing you want to consider when you're picking your spots in the blind is if you got any left-handed shooters, it's always best to at least have one of them on the end of the blind on the right side. The reason why that's important is because as they shoulder their gun, it's a more natural swing for them to be able to cover that far end of the blind, that far right side as they swing from left to right, uh, because their shotgun naturally mounts a little more uh, conducive to that sort of movement. So it's easier for them to make that swing, less, uh, less contorting on the body, and less likely that they'll inadvertently misfire their gun or something of that nature. Uh, one thing you'll also want to do is that you want to make sure that when the shot is called to the best of your ability, you do it where the most amount of birds are covering the most amount of shooting sectors. And what I mean by that is if you have a group of birds working your blind location and they're finishing in your decoys from left to right, you don't want to call the shot when that lead bird gets into the hole. You want to call the shot when there's birds in, in the sectors of all the people in the blind. So uh, the far end has birds in their sector and then the far other end has birds in their sector, if at all possible. It's, it's tough to do, but the more sectors you can cover, the better off you will be when that shot is called. Yeah. And, and better off you will be in a safety standpoint and just from a harvest standpoint. Right. So, um, I don't know how many times, you know, in our early years of hunting, we'd have six, seven, eight guys out and we'd say, shoot your own lane, you know, and you have two or three birds that are dead center coming in. And, you know, you have maybe 20 birds that are spread out back behind them. And, 
and all eight guns shoot those first three birds instead of people shooting off to the right and off to the left, depending where they're at. So if you shoot your own lanes and the birds, no matter how far out they are, I'm not saying to sky bust, but once they get into those good ranges, you just have a better harvest. You know, you're going to drop more birds than everyone just shooting into the middle. Um, this also prevents unsafe shooting across people's faces, over their heads, blowing out eardrums. You, you always have that when, you know, there might be one bird left and someone gets antsy to, to take a crack shot at something and, and it's just not safe. And we see it, um, every, every year, it seems like someone will post up a picture of a gun that, you know, someone was shooting their lane and then the person to their left was shooting towards a bird on that person's right. And, you know, they blow off the end of a barrel and you see it over and over and over. And, um, thankfully we haven't had that happen. It's been close a few times. Um, uh, but that causes some big issues in the field. Also, you know, something to check out if you have a, a main hunting group that you go out with, you know, put a GoPro up behind your blinds and just video a couple volleys coming in and see where people are aiming and you'll get a real good idea of people shooting their lanes or not. You'll see where those guns go up following the birds and one, you'll be able to see if people are hitting birds, but then you'll be able to see if anyone is unsafe and if you do need to talk to them. And that's something that, you know, don't be shy about saying, you know, you just blew my eardrums out, man. You know, you got to be safe and, and keep that barrel down range. Yeah. I mean, we've all been in the situation where you, you know, you call the shot, you come up out of the blind, you, you bear down on a bird. And as soon as you get ready to pull the trigger, you see that bird fold up because someone else shot it. And one of two things happened, either they're not shooting their lane or you're not shooting your lane. Right. So, um, somebody there is in the wrong, uh, you know, and if you get it squared away with that first shot being, you're most likely to be successful. You're absolutely going to take more birds every volley if you get that squared away. So, you know, figuring that out and having that discussion before the hunt is obviously very important for success and for safety. So, um, that transitions us here to the last lesson of the module. And that is going to be the ever important safety meeting. That's going to do it for this episode of the HP Outdoors Waterfowl Podcast. If you're new to the show, head over to iTunes, check out some of our past episodes. And while you're there, leave us a five-star rating and review. It's the best way for like-minded hunters just like you to find our show. Check us out on social media. Check us out over at hpoutdoors.com and anywhere you can find quality podcast content. That's going to do it for this week. Till next time, for Dan, I'm Josh. Take care. <laughs>